Hey guys, um, well probably I haven't done one for a while but uh, it's a radio project this time. Um, of a sort, it's a sort of a mix of old and new. Um, so this is basically a project that the the French radio club guys put together which is a small mono FM receiver module that is designed in such a way that it'll use a regular AM 500 picofarad tuning condenser and you can wire it into a, a um, an AM set a vintage if you like um, so that you can have FM on it now I have two sets from the 50s that um, they have like the FM space on the dial and you can select an FM position uh, with the F band selector but there's no FM module in the actual set and so I thought wouldn't it be nice to try this out and uh, fit this little guy here and uh, give it a go um, so the first thing the astute among you will have noticed is the instructions all come in French so I had a go at coming up with a, an English version of it um, now there's a huge difference between me being able to gossip with my neighbor about the state of the French elections um, and translating a technical document accurately. So I don't know if I got this right and the test will be if I can get it working. <laughs> if I get this thing working then yeah we're good. Um, okay so the actual module in real in actual size is this little guy here. So you can see it's got a whole ton of surface mount stuff on the back here. A couple of electrolytics here, a couple of chokes and etc etc. So because it's pretty much complete I can test it. Um, yeah. So I just took a, uh, a tuning condenser out of the junk box and this is 500 picofarad down to about 30 picofarad I think when it's fully open. Um, which in theory will do nicely um, and the only other thing I the only other piece that I need is a little bit of wire for an aerial a piece of uh, shielded uh, wire for the audio out and I think that's about it I should be able to validate if the uh, there's a if this thing works and there is a calibration function so which works by uh, setting the uh, tuning cap to maximum capacitance so it uh, veins closed and then you short these two pins here and that'll set it to the low end of the FM band then you open the tuning condenser all the way out short these guys again and that then will set it to the high end of the FM band and then you're good so we'll wire this up um, and uh, see if it works. If it works I'll then have to choose which of the two sets that I have that I'm going to put it in. Mm. Okay, so uh, battery connector here, audio out screen going off to the bench amp, uh, tuning cap connected in, 
and then there is an AM FM switch which is kind of defeated here it just means to go in FM mode you ground it so I just grounded it um, and I do believe that's it for the purposes of testing uh, although it's the wrong way up for doing the calibration <laughs> uh, one slight problem my battery is like looks like it's sort of discharged or it's definitely not 8 volts so I need to see if I can find uh, a battery with a bit more life in it success we have a new battery if we can ever get it out of the bloody package oh yes lots of power lots of power Okay, let's turn on audio. Okay, we have hum, we have hum. And let's power it up. See what we get. <laughs> well, that was pretty instantaneous, wasn't it? <laughs> Je tends l'oreille vers les étages. Rien n'annonce le retour de Jean-Paul descendant les escaliers 4 à 4 dans une chemise immaculée qui sentirait la lavande, le cou fermement sanglé dans sa belle cravate orange. Il est long. Peut-être qu'il prend une douche. Oh, Jean-Paul traîne. Mais qu'est-ce qu'il peut faire On supprime le pouvoir de la grande bourgeoisie industrielle. Alright guys, uh, this little gadget works a treat. Um, so now my next challenge is uh, which set am I going to mount this in uh, and can I mount it in such a way that I don't have to any add any switchery and stuff like that. So the ideal is that um, the FM AM switch here I can somehow find uh, an FM selection on the band selector and use that um, yeah okay uh, so I'm gonna wrap it up there I think that's we'll call that a result um, and next uh, you see this I'll have a one of my uh, radios out on the bench and we'll be uh, figuring out how to fit it in there that's it for now guys, hope you found this interesting. Um, 